Visveswaraya National Institute of Technology Nagpur or VNIT 2022 review Visveswaraya National Institute of Technology Nagpur VNIT was established in 1960 it is located in the western part of Nagpur city India VNIT Nagpur ranks number 32 in the NIRF 2022 ranking This is a post from your favorite education guide College Suggest know your course know your career Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite courses and careers. In this video, we're going to review VNIT Nagpur for the academic year 2022 and compare the statistics over the past 3 years on the information about student intake rates, courses offered, graduation and placement records and other factors. Keep watching this video to know more about VNIT Nagpur. VNIT Nagpur ranks at number 1718 in the best global universities, number 638 in best global universities in Asia, and number 60 in best global universities in India, according to usnews.com. VNIT Nagpur campus spreads across 215 acres. VNIT Nagpur offers 8 UG and 28 PG courses. Now let's take a look at the approved student intake rate for the past 3 years at VNIT Nagpur. Here we are presenting the data submitted to the NIRF by VNIT Nagpur for 2022. In 2020 for the UG 4 year program the approved intake rate was 860. In 2021 it was 855 and in 2022 it is 855. The intake rate for UG programs has decreased slightly in 2022 when compared to 2020. Next let's take a look at the student stat information. VNIT Nagpur accommodates a total of 3894 students. The percentage of male students sums up to 81.25% and female students comprise a total of 18.75%. Among the total 3894 students, 1775 are from within the state and 2036 are from outside the state, while 83 students are from abroad pursuing a degree at VNIT Nagpur. Next, let's take a look at the graduation rate for the last 3 years at VNIT Nagpur. In 2020 for the UG 4 year program, it was 98.24%, in 2021 it was 98.98% and in 2022 it is 94.74%. A decrease in the graduation rate has been seen for the UG 4 year programs at VNIT Nagpur. The total number of students pursuing a PhD is 494. out of which 49 are graduating in 2022. Next, let's take a look at the placement records for the last 3 years at VNIT Nagpur. For the UG 4 year program, the placement percentage in 2020 was 88.46%. In 2021, it was 95.22% and in 2022, it was 99.4%. An increase in the placement percentage has been seen over the past 3 years. Top recruiters at VNIT Nagpur include Deloitte USI Consulting L&T Group, Bajaj Auto, Oracle, Lowe's India, Goldman Sachs, City India, JP Morgan Chase and Samsung Research Institute. Let's now look into the details of the median salary package offered to students at VNIT Nagpur in the last 3 years. Students with a UG 4 year degree were offered a package of 6 lakhs in 2020, 8.53 lakhs in 2021 and 8.42 lakhs in 2022. There's been an increase in the median salary package offered to students at VNIT Nagpur. The training and placement department of VNIT Nagpur acts as an interface between companies and students in various sectors. They equip students with the necessary skills required for career planning and personality development. Next, let's look at the details of the capital expenditure by VNIT Nagpur for the year 2022. The total expenditure sums up to 47.9 crores and this includes money spent for upgrading the library, lab equipment in academic research labs and organizing workshops as well as improving the infrastructure of seminar halls. Out of the total expenditure, 3.32% was spent towards improving library facilities, 41.25% was used for buying new lab equipment and 4.43% for organizing workshops. while 51% was utilized for improving infrastructure of the academic campus there has been an increase in the total capital expenditure by vnit nagpur in 2022 when compared to the years 2021 and 2020 next let's get into the details of the operational expenditure by vnit nagpur for the academic year 2022 
The total operational expenditure includes money spent towards salaries for faculty and staff members, maintenance of academic facilities, and in organizing and conducting seminars and workshops. This sums up to 124.92 crores, out of which 79.41% was used for salaries of teaching and non-teaching staff, 20.22% was used towards improving the infrastructure, and 0.37% was used for conducting workshops. There has been a decrease in the operational expenditure by VNID Nagpur in the last three years. Next, let's take a look at the patents published and granted by VNID Nagpur over the last three years. In 2018, a total of 23 patents were published and none were granted. In 2019, 16 were published and 10 were granted. In 2020, 14 patents were published and 23 were granted. The number of patents published has decreased in the last three years, but the number of patents getting granted has increased at VNID Nagpur. Next, let's take a look at the sponsored research funds received by VNID Nagpur over the last three years. In 2020, they received a total of 19.53 crores from 43 funding agencies to complete 155 projects. In 2021, 12.13 crores was received from 45 agencies to complete 115 projects. And in 2022, they received 15.33 crores from 60 funding agencies to complete 146 projects. VNIT Nagpur received the highest funds from sponsored projects in 2020, and this decreased in 2021 and 2022. Next, let's take a look at the total funds received from consultancy projects to VNIT Nagpur. In 2020, a total of 20.83 crores was received from 557 clients to complete 862 projects. In 2021, a total of 15.46 crores was received from 352 clients to complete 647 projects. In 2022, they received a total of 17.78 crores from 278 clients to complete 344 projects. VNIT Nagpur received the highest funds from consultancy projects in 2020, and this decreased in 2021 and 2022. There's also been a decrease in the total number of projects received in the last three years. Next, let's take a look at the faculty data as well as fee structure details. VNIT Nagpur has 240 faculty members, out of which 91.67% are PhD holders. The faculty to student ratio is 1 is to 16. The approximate fee for the first semester is Rs 82,350. And the overall cost to complete a degree at VNIT Nagpur would be around Rs 5,50,300. Please note that the fee structure mentioned is subject to variation. The library at VNIT Nagpur has over 200,000 books, research papers, and articles. eCell VNIT is the entrepreneurship cell of VNIT, and the purpose of the eCell is to foster the developing entrepreneurs as well as channelize and guide startups across the nation. Some of the notable alumni of VNIT Nagpur include Vijay P. Bhatkar, scientist, founding director of the Center for Development of Advanced Computing, Padma Bhushan, and Padma Shri Awardi, Pradeep Khar, Chairman and Founder, Microland. Buddha Raju Srinivasamurthy, Director, IIT Hyderabad. Neem Kumar Bantia, Professor at the University of British Columbia and CEO of IC Impacts. We hope that we've given you all of the insights you need about the Vishveshwaraya National Institute of Technology or VNIT Nagpur for the academic year 2022. What is the course that you want to pursue next? Tell us. We will provide you with all of the information you need to make the right decision. If you agree with our analysis, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit us at collegesuggest.com.